Huang Chi Chicken Soup Ingredients 60 grams of Huang Chi 10 grams of Gan Chao 30 grams of Chinese date and some chicken meat First, you rinse the chicken meat with cold water Clean it again with hot water Put it in the electric wok with Huang Chi, Gan Chao and the Chinese dates without the cores Add 2,000 millimeters of water to the inside of the pot and 3 fourths cup of water to the outside of the pot When the switch jumps up, you can enjoy the meal The combination can improve our qi and the Chinese date can improve our yin element and also blood If you don't like to drink the soup you can put Huang Chi and Wolfberry into hot water and drink it like tea. It's tasty too. Actually, I often feel dizzy because of anemia. Can I also eat a Huang Chi chicken soup? Certainly, but Dang Gui blood tonic soup will be more suitable for you. This medicine first appeared in Nei Wai Shang. Bian Hong Lung and was given to people with insufficient qi or blood. Then, we decreased its amount and added wolfberry to it to reduce the smell of dong gui and increase the sweetness. The new combination increases its tonic application to the liver and the kidney. If we put these three herbs into tea, they become Huang Qi. Qi and blood tonic tea, which is used to supplement qi and blood and reduce dizziness caused by anemia. Huang Qi Qi and blood tonic tea. The ingredients include 25 grams of Huang Qi, 5 grams of Dang Gui, and 12 grams of Wolfberry. First, you wash all the ingredients with water. Then you put them into a wok with 1,000 milliliters of water. Boil them with small fire until 500 milliliters of water remains and drink it a cup a day. Among the ingredients, Huang Qi is a tonic to Qi, Dong Gui is a tonic to blood, and Wolfberry is a tonic to the liver and kidneys. No, Dang Gui isn't a tonic to Qi. It's a tonic to blood only. When there's sufficient blood, you will also have enough Qi. On the other hand, when you have enough Qi, it will also help you create blood. Thus, it creates a good cycle. So, the Huang Qi and Dang Gui are the best tonic combination for Qi and blood. A book titled Ben Chao Bei Suo states, People with abnormal qi or blood flow can drink this, as it will bring qi and blood to its right place. Thus, the combination can be used as an emergency after a woman gives birth, as it works immediately. It's probably why its name says it all. Therefore, Dang Gui is a very efficient tonic for blood. Dang Gui is the root of herbal plant called Dang Gui. The root is harvested at the end of the fall season. After the soil is removed from the skin, the root is then smoked to dry. Its main production areas are Gansu, Xiwan, Yannan, Xiangxi, and Guizhou provinces. Its nature is hot with a sweet taste. It goes to the liver the heart and the spleen and the respected meridians. It is a tonic for blood, improves blood circulation, stops the pain, moistens the intestines for an easy discharge of dung. Dr. Li, you also mentioned Sheng Mai Ying. What is that? And if you use it, will your paws become stronger? Ha ha ha. Yes. 
What an imagination! Indeed, Sheng Mai Yin does benefit your qi, create liquid in your body, and reduce sweating. It helps prevent heat stroke in the summer. It is a tonic to your qi in the fall and winter. It is a good drink to improve your qi all year round. If you drink it, your pulse will become strong. Wow, a tonic tea for all year round. Dr. Lee, please tell me how to make it. Don't need to hurry. Let me tell you. Sheng Mai Yi first appeared in Yi Fang Ji Jie. It is consisted of ginseng, mai mendong, and wu wei zi. The combination was used to treat any heat symptoms that had damaged our qi, caused short of breath and fatigue. Its dosage was later reduced, and the Chinese date was added to become Sheng Mai Tonic Tea. It is useful to people suffering from easy sweating or fatigue in the summer. When one drinks this in a summer morning, it improves his qi during the scorching heat. If the person is short of breath, doesn't feel like talking, feels thirsty constantly, and have a weak pulse, the said medicine can improve any of these conditions. I have its ingredients here, and you may have a look. Shen Mai tonic tea ingredients include 12 grams of ginseng, 20 grams of Mai Mendong, 8 grams of Wu Wei tea, and 5 Chinese dates. Wash them clean and put them into a wok. Add 1000 milliliters of water and boil them with small fire until 500 milliliters of water remains. You can drink the soup a cup a day like drinking water. It helps produce liquid for the body and reduce sweating. It can improve discomforts brought by the summer heat, sweating, short of breath, too lazy to talk, and a sense of dryness in the mouth. On a hot day, you can change ginseng to ginseng whiskers and add more wu wei zi. If your body isn't suitable for taking ginseng, you can use dang sen instead. If the day is dry, you can replace ginseng with American ginseng or use half from each type. This will reduce the nature of dryness in ginseng. Ginseng, Mai Mendong, and Chinese date are tonics, and they can improve your immune system. Among them, Wu Wei Zi plays an important role as it holds back the functions of other herbs to create a balance among all the herbs. If you don't like the taste of Chinese date, you can replace it with the wolfberry. Dr. Lee, I still don't understand. Why when the herbs are put together, they can create a such miraculous effect? Wonderful question. You were listening carefully. You seem quite interested in it, so I'll explain it to you. When more than two types of herbs are put together to create a certain illness, these herbs are referred to as formula. Each ingredient of a formula is given an official title, sovereign, minister, assistant, or courier to represent the roles they play in a formula. The ingredients of Sheng Mai includes Jinsen, Mai Dong, and Wu Wei Zi. Each herb has its function and solves different kinds of problems. The nature of ginseng is warm and its taste is sweet. It contains a chemical called ginsenoside, which can improve the qi in one's heart and strengthen the qi in the lungs, so ginseng belongs to the sovereign category. The nature of Mai Meng Dong is warm and its taste is sweet. It contains polysaccharide and helps nourish yin, keeps the blood cool, stops sweating, and enhances the functions of ginseng, thus belong to the minister category. The nature of Wu Wei Zi is warm and its taste is sour. It contains polyphenol, holds back qi in the lungs, stops coughing, and belongs to the assistant category. It prevents our qi from being reduced due to sweating, and it helps reducing sweating. 
we add Chinese date to the formula and turns it to Xing Mai Tonic Tea because the nature of Chinese date is warm and its taste is sweet. It is a tonic to the digestive system by supplementing qi to it. The herb belongs to the courier category. It brings balance to all the herbs and makes the drink tastier. It allows the nature of the drink to be neutral and may be taken every day. I understand it now. Dr. Lee, thank you very much. After hearing from you, we understand Shen Mai Ying better. And we also know how to prepare Shen Mai Tonic Tea, Huang Qi Qi and Blood Tonic Tea, and Huang Qi Chicken Soup to help Xiao Bao improve his Qi. If the body has been invaded by evil Qi, what should we do? Dr. Li Zongzi from the Ming Dynasty states in Yi Zong Bidu that on the onset of the sickness, the healthy qi is still quite strong, and the evil qi is weak, so our qi is capable of attacking the evil qi. If the sickness has progressed to the middle stage, it means the evil qi has become stronger and the healthy qi weaker. The doctor must attack the evil qi and improve the healthy qi at the same time. After a longer time when the healthy qi has been reduced much and the evil qi is more stronger, the doctor has to increase the healthy qi to fight back the evil qi. It means that when a sickness just begins, the evil qi is still not strong. So the doctor can focus on attacking the evil qi. But if the sickness has entered the middle stage, the healthy qi has become weaker. So it is necessary to fight back the evil qi and also nourish the healthy qi. If the sickness has entered the third stage, the healthy qi is disappearing fast, and the evil qi is attacking the deeper level in the body. Then supplementing or improving the healthy qi becomes the priority. It is then possible to fight back the evil qi. Now I understand. As long as I follow the principle of supporting the healthy qi and getting rid of evil qi, my body will always remain healthy. Indeed. Let me explain the concept of health to you. In Chinese, the concept of health is expressed by two words, jian kang. The word jian is composed with jian and ren. An early meaning of jian referred to setting rules and was later extended to mean to create and to establish. To create or set up means that there is strength to make it possible. So when ren with the meaning of human was added to Jen. The new word means this person is powerful. Therefore, the new word can mean with enough spirit, one is smart, with good digestive system, the body will have strength. The other word Kong refers to the roads being accessible to five directions. In the theory of Chinese medicine, the road our qi travels in our body is called meridian or Jing Lu. In Chinese, Jing refers to a major path and Lu refers to a small path. If the path or meridian is not accessible or blocked, Qi is also blocked and we will fall sick. On the other hand, if the meridian is accessible, the illness will leave us and we will be healthy. I got it. So Jian Kang, or healthy, refers to having a good circulation of qi and blood in one's body, and the meridians are not blocked at all, then the body will be healthy. Is that right? Xiao Bao, you're absolutely right. I'm giving you this complete of good qi of four seasons brings you good health. You must obey what your mommy says. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee, thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.